What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs, out of your reach. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubters wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match, and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. the prize fighter. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. Introducing the challenger from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer. But he's made an entire career 
out of defying expectations. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And introducing the champion from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 194 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And just listen to that crowd. He's a Universal Champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. The champ's next challenge starts now. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that champ. Springboard! Shooting star! Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Boom! Oh my goodness. Boom! These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Ooh, chair shot takes the wind right out. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. Uh-oh. Clearing the table. Yeah, gotta take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens just can't find any breathing room. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. <laughs> Heading back to the ring. Top rope, putting it all on the line. To the sky. Ooh, devastating impact through the table. That was a statement maneuver if I ever saw one. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh, great. Now for something painful and tall. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Offense with a hurtful purpose. The champ just crashed down in the worst spot possible. The point of the ring line, the steel beams converge. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. You gotta wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. That's just hard to watch. Gets inside the ring. Just stomped the hell out of the champ and enjoyed it. Big splash! That has to take all the breath out of you. Oh, elbow right to the 
breadbasket for their troubles. Lands harder. Now uh, there's a springboard into a oh, springboard. Whoa. Good God! Just exhibiting their fearlessness, exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Uh oh! Stunner! Crucial offense executed perfectly. You have to go big or go home in a ladder match, and they just went huge. I don't know what they're looking for here. He's got a table. We know where this is going, gentlemen. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. And back in the ring we go. Not so fast. Connecting with a standing moonsault. Slingshot Arabian Press. A bad place to be for the challenger. Nothing but respect for Hangins. Uh-oh. Shooting star press. Mind-blowing. Great wherewithal on the counter. DDT planet. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? J.O. reminding the audience. Not allowing that to go on any longer. He's been placed in the corner now. Uncorked a big punch. Turning the tables there. A running hurt Colorado. Beautiful. Getting a ladder in position now. Smack down to the center of the ring, too, Cole. Into the ring again. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. But he's still got to climb the ladder. That's the only way this match ends. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. some trouble. Owen just can't find any breathing room. He's heading for higher ground. Climbing the ladder now. Guys, it's no, 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 no. Oh, for the love of God. A miss from the top of the ladder. My goodness. On the way to the top of the ladder. Climb. Go for it. Climb. A win here would be a bit of a surprise. A shot. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. Ouch. Oh, man. Oh, my God. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs. No worries. Oh, man. Oh, oh you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Springboard. Shooting stop. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Heading up, he's thinking big. Uh oh. All the way to the outside. Just crashing down with high impact. And he goes into the ring. Setting it in place here. Here we go. Here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion,
Troy, what's Mizanin got on the docket for me now? Miz has the biggest spectacular celebration in television history planned for the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Seriously? Seriously. Pyro, a marching band, miniature versions of those giant beer horses. Uh, you mean Clydesdales? Sure. Anyway, all that, a balloon drop, and finally the presentation of the championship. You head out to your mark, and we'll get the show going. Listen, I'm new around here, but I'm not sure the best way for me to ingratiate myself to a new locker room is to have a huge celebration of me. Your call. Just say the word, and Miz is ready to celebrate your arrival in style. I normally don't attend the celebrations without cake, but in this case, you're on. Let's make it happen, Troy. You head out to the ring, and I'll get everything going. Miz is going to love this! It's time for the Miz's must-see. Oh, Austin Theory from behind. What the hell is this? What Miz promises, he delivers. Seeing this frog get punked out is definitely must-see. But why is Austin Theory doing this? What'd the champion do to him? He showed up on SmackDown for starters. Finally, Theory has pulled off the champ. I want Austin Theory, and I want him now. I know you're upset, but... Upset? No. I am angry, Troy. That thirsty attention seeker jumped me from behind, and now I'm gonna give him some attention he really won't like, in the form of a receipt. You wanna talk about receipts? I have a pile of actual receipts for everything we paid for and didn't get to use! Do you have any idea how much we sunk into the WWE Universal Championship celebration? All for nothing! Miz might fire me! Troy, I don't care. In fact, the only thing I do care about is wringing Austin Theory's neck. So you go see if Miz is gonna send you packing. But first, you tell him I'm fighting Theory tonight. Sanctioned or otherwise.
A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the Bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more he has to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. And his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 194 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. Austin Theory might have cost the WWE Universal Champion his big celebration, but I'm betting there will be some fireworks inside the ring tonight. As a champion, you have to prove you're somebody to be feared or else attacks like what we saw last week are just going to keep happening. Well, the Dark Horse will get his chance to show what he can do when he sees the attack coming. Well, as a title holder, you should always see it coming. Big time power! Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Spiked by the inverted Frankensteiner. The champ just about took the challenger's head off with that move. And Theory able to adapt. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Whoa, leaping through the air. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Theory gets fended off. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. Wow! Corkscrew moonsault, beautiful! It's hard enough to do a moonsault from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. 
Top rope. 50. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. And the champ only gets a count of one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Springboard drop kick. Theory has lost any momentum here. Can Theory ride out this outpouring? Arm breaker. Oh, claws piercing into the skin. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Opponent across their shoulders into a fireman's carry position down face first. Seamlessly transitioning into the rings of Saturn submission. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Well, what do they have planned here? It's about doing anything it takes to earn the victory. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Theory's struggling to defend himself. But Theory can't allow this rush to discourage him. Oh, and a reversal. Austin finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Now's a good chance for the champion into the cover. Retains. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one. Champ, apparently Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Ugh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here. Make it a chairs match, so he doesn't forget that Champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. The dawn of WWE has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo. Tony D'Angelo is not playing games. This is a man who's been through it all. He survived the turf wars and paid the price to be the Don. <laughs> Tony.
Tony's faced hardship, attacks, even incarceration during his time in NXT, but he has continued to thrive. A dangerous man inside the ring, and from what I've heard, pretty dangerous outside of it, too. You cannot deny the explosiveness of Tony D'Angelo. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. And his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 194 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. Hold on to your seats as this one gets underway. We'll see if this match lasts longer than a catering line for the champ, allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks? Uh, glory, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. Taking off from the ropes. Right on point. Springboard. Shooting star to the floor. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Looking for something, anything under the ring. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. And now Tony is getting beaten down. Tony might be feeling a bit rattled. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. He turns it around. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Tony needed. Yeah, D'Angelo able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Don't do this. Don't do it! That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. And Tony didn't see that coming. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Oh my! And now gets tossed into the ring. Climbing up to the top now. From the top! That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Caught the punch. And Tony just taunting his opponent now. What a counter by Tony. Caught in a bad position here. Ooh, right to the throat. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Right with the point of the elbow. Ducking out of trouble. Ooh, nice drop kick. Oh! Springboard! Shooting star! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, God. He's struggling a bit here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, man. Sit straight into the barricade. Reversal on top of reversal. These two having an answer for everything. Boom! Everyone needs to get out of the way of this 
fight. This feels so unsafe. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Squaring off right by our announce table. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Pulled in from belly to belly. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. plants him. Nicely done. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. And he gets set back into the ring. There's the heel kick. Ooh. Going for a power slam. Steps down. Counter into an inverted DDT. Tony is completely out of sorts here. Opponent across their shoulders into a fireman's carry position down face first. Seamlessly transitioning into the rings of Saturn submission. This could be bad. After everything these two men have been through, will it end like this? Will it end with a submission tap out? His body might give out at this point. And he may have felt his grip slipping. So he releases the hold. And still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. He thinks he has it! He put him away! He picks up the win! Here is your winner. Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. I bet Tony D'Angelo will be giving his associates a real earful about this loss.